LWF started in Myanmar in 2008 in response to Cyclone Nargis. After the initial relief and rehabilitation program in the Delta region, we expanded in 2013 to Jin State, Kayin State, and Rakhine State. Rakhine State is a very complex context. From a long history, there's many different levels of conflict over the years uh, between the Rakhine people and their neighbors and also the country of Myanmar. There was some communal violence in 2012. In that incident, over 140,000 people were displaced in internally displaced people's camps. So LWF began as camp management agency that involved shelter, non-food items, distribution, uh, fire safety, as well as later on education and coordination with other agencies on wash and protection issues as well for the displaced people. The concept of linking relief, rehabilitation and development is an approach that we embrace. We don't discriminate people based on any status, but rather we focus on based on their needs, but also based on their rights. And that links then towards the right to, you know, protection and security and livelihoods and, and others that, that bring about peace. When people have, all people have all of their rights, then peace is possible. We started with relief and rehabilitation, but now have moved into rights-based empowerment projects, which put uh, human rights at the center, people-centered, integrated uh, approach, so that people can manage their own development processes by themselves. We develop management committees, PTAs, child clubs, youth clubs, and involve communities, the Department of Education, and other stakeholders in the process of both gaining more access to education as well as improving the quality of education. Mimi, 
First, we were granted a, in Rakhine the Children for Peace funds, which we started as an education and emergency project to provide a safe place for children who were displaced to get some normality back in their lives and to focus on their education for their future. We are currently working on that, not only inside the camps, but the host communities and with the formal education system. We have built school facilities, uh, work on teacher training, and then educating communities on the importance of education for their future. <laughs> ยาเสยยาหาหาสุเกจ้องอะเลหาไหนปုံเมียสุเกกะบะมะยาจ้องเนี่ยปาเตโลบะเลยอะเกยาหาหาสุเกคงเลหาคิชิบะเลมูยู
I'm really happy and proud of our team of LWF staff who are working very hard, dedicated and committed towards upholding the rights of the, the poor and oppressed. The teamwork that we have with the government and other stakeholders is also very a contributing factor towards the success that we've had. I'd like to thank all of our donor partners who have supported us throughout the years um, with the knowledge that together we can continue to do even more to uphold those who are in need.